Hey guys, so our next topic is PDF range and there are certain formats I'm going to talk about which you never like to miss. So before that, before we get on to this topic, I actually forgot to go through this question in the previous topic. This question is quite simple. There's a project settings image and there are a couple of values given here. Okay, before even you read through the value, the second activity that is being used you should first read the last line because the last line will tell you what exactly you should see in the image. Assuming the element is loaded. So it is saying the element exist activity is being used and it is the element is has already loaded. Okay. How much time will pass before the element see before what is asking before before the element exist activity is executed so before that activity is ex getting executed how much time will it wait and then it will run executed in the debug mode this is also these are the important words you should highlight in your exam so now give it a close look at the image so it said before that means you should consider delay before values and debug so you should consider this one if it is saying after if the, if the question is after then you should focus on delay after and look at the debug or the run depending on the question. So that's why I am saying your understanding of the question is very important. You staying attentive in the exam is important. Okay. And your knowledge. Okay. Now in this, in this specific question because they are asking before executing in the debug mode. So the answer would be 200. Okay. So the answer is 200 milliseconds. Okay. Now let's move on to our main topic. PDF range. Now, in the PDF range, what is that you should know? First of all, in your UiPath Studio, install the PDF package. So, by default, you may not have all the PDF activities. So, all you do, go to manage packages and install uipath.pdf.activities. Just type it and install it. Once you have it, if you simply type PDF, all this activity will be shown to you. Drag and drop the activities like extract, read, where you are extracting the data, reading the data from the PDF. In those set of activities, one thing would be quite common that is range. Range. From which page would you like to read it? For example, read PDF with OCR. From what page? All. Uh, right? Read PDF, extract PDF range numbers. So, so uh, PDF page number, uh, page range. So, all these activities will have something called range. What is important from the exam point of view, you have to go through this extract PDF page range documentation. This documentation you can easily find out simply by right clicking on the activity and hitting on help. That will bring out the specific page for you. It's slightly getting loaded. Meanwhile, what we will go through is the question. So what kind of questions can you expect? So there is a practice test uh, question here. Let's see it. If you wanted to read a specific set of pages from a PDF file, okay, so these are the options given. If you wanted to read a specific set of pages from a PDF file using the extract PDF range activity, what describes this activity? Output of the activity is a string variable. See, these definitions are important because you will not get the same question. Something different would come and the reading the lines are very important. So what I said, the trick is to remove wrong ones, okay, to get onto the right one. Output of the activity is a string variable containing data from all the pages read. Okay. Output of the activity is a string variable. Is it is it a right sentence? Output of the activity is a string variable. Okay, we'll find that out. Password slash protected.pdfs cannot be read using this activity. Is it right? You cannot read. Hmm? So if you look at um, uh, see there is a password option. So you can read even the password protected files. So that is wrong, right? So this is definitely wrong. Um, expression is start page print hyphen and page print within double quote is a valid expression for range field. Yes, this is correct actually. If range equals to nothing is written, simply double quote is written, it will read data from all the pages present in the PDF file. Is it right? If you simply put a double quote is going to read. So understand all the options, okay? Because based on that you have to study. So let's go to the um, documentation, okay? In the documentation. Here I have opened the extract PDF range. Okay. So what is important here? Look at it. The password is there. The password of the PDF file is if necessary. The field supports only string and string variable. The password field of the extract PDF range supports 
string variable you can't go for a secure string rather it only uses a string variable okay so this is the point that documentation is trying to make okay um, then then it's talking about the range field okay so let's look at so you can see the password is a string field okay so then range field so in the range this is also string format so every string has to be written in double quote okay now what are the specific formats that documentation says the documentation says how you should mention it the range of the pages that you wanted to retrieve you can specify a single page simply by writing seven and double quote let's say seventh page will be extracted let's say range you want seven to twelve so this is the format seven to twelve double quote okay or a complex range for example two to five comma seven comma fifteen till end okay so this is how you write so this format you have to remember 50 comma n and then to extract everything you have to write double quote all it's not double quote double quote all you have to write okay so the last option given here was actually wrong getting it so this is wrong this is wrong output of the activity is a string variable uh, containing data from all the pages read so is it every time true if i'm writing seven is it going to read all the pages from all the pages read no, it, 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 it highly depends. The output is a string variable, but it highly depends on the range, right? So the more appropriate answer would be this rather than this. Okay, this also appears like correct, but look, let's read it. Okay, so uh, input extract PDF range uh, where they have mentioned output file name. Okay, the name you wanted to use for the file that generated from the extracted range pages. This field supports only strings and string variables okay this is correct only string but the sentence last sentence is slightly wrong data from all the pages read that is not every time correct it highly depends on the range that you have mentioned okay so this is how it will, will confuse you so these are the important things what i felt are important that you should read understand and appear for the exam so any question comes you should be able to answer so your idea should be that your idea should be any questions comes i should be in a state of answering any kind of question okay uh, there is also another page uh, which is about the PDF activities package. Okay, so this is also a page that I've highlighted. Uh, PDF activities pack contains activities designed to extract data from PDF XPS files and store into string variables. Okay, um, output will be string variable. The data can be extracted from the entire document or from the range pages specified on the range property found in. So these are this output depends on this range. That's what I was trying to focus. Okay uh uipath pdf activity package in the same project with the uipath intelligent ocr activities package you need to use either version of 2x of both or version 3x of both okay this is also important okay so these are the important points um these are the links that you should uh, look in the google uh, or else in the description of my video you can find it out in case i miss it you can always google it okay sometimes i'm missing to paste the links okay so so these are the important topics i will uh, update that later but um, these are the important points and you got to know which is the right answer so this will be your right answer so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic